when, when, the, when the thing sort of works without us and without our own efforts, uh, and you know, Earl Nightingale many years ago likened it to a cruise ship. And he said, look at, you know, a cruise ship, and you're all going on a couple of cruises coming up in the next year or so, you know, because you're going with me. So <laughs> we're all going together. And so, uh, so, you know, the cruise ship only goes maybe 20 knots, you know, give or take 20 miles an hour, right? And it goes very slowly. And an airplane, you get on an airplane and it goes 550 miles an hour. But the cruise ship just keeps going. It's so persistent. It just goes 24 hours a day. You sleep on the cruise ship, you party on the cruise ship, you eat, you sit out on the deck and get a suntan. And you know, it's just moving all the time. It's moving. And there's this progression that is always happening in a positive direction. And before you know it, you're in a new port, right? Before you know it, you're in Cuba with us, okay? Or you're in, uh, you know, Mazatlan or whatever, right? And, uh, and so it's a very consistent thing. And the reality is successful people are just very, very consistent, okay? And they don't let setbacks take them out of the game because life is really a game of staying power. And the beautiful thing about income property is it has all these multi-dimensional characteristics that we all know and love because we've been talking about them for years. And it's just always working. It's like that cruise ship, you know, the, as when I started yesterday and I talked to you about ROA, return on amortization. Uh, we talked about how that's just working and working and working and it doesn't do much in the beginning, and, but you get five years in, it does more. You get 10 years in, it does a lot more. And 15 years, it's doing a lot for you, okay? It's making a big difference. In addition to all of the other ways in which you earn a great return on your investment. And it's, it's all happening kind of like, just automatically like the cruise ship. It's just moving all the time, right? And inflation is working in our favor all the time, yet it's hurting everybody else who isn't playing our game all the time. So, you know, for better or worse, you know, it's nice to say, well, the pie is big enough for everybody, right? You know, uh, AOC would say, oh, we just tax the rich. And Elizabeth Warren would say the same thing. And, and the pie is big enough. The reality is, you know, yes, capitalism is a great concept and it does make the pie bigger. There's no question about it. The pie gets bigger. I mean, George Gilder's concept of, um, uh, you know, uh, knowledge and how it creates wealth, and he says, look, I mean, I don't know if you really caught it, what he said yesterday, right? And maybe he said it today again. But he said, he said, every resource we have today on this earth was available to people living in caves. They had all the same resources. Arguably, they had more resources than we do now because the environment hadn't been destroyed yet, right? Okay, uh, so, so the same resources were there, but what made the difference? Well, this consistent, uh, this consistent progression forward of humans to learn and impact and change their environment and make it better. Every decision we make, I would argue every decision we make is a decision to improve our condition. That's the nature of humanity to improve our condition, every decision. So economics is a relative thing, okay? And you know, during the Great Recession, when things looked really bleak and really bad, and everybody was worried that, well, you know, everybody's gonna end up broke, the world is coming to an end. And I don't know, you know, try and remember how really devastating and bad the news was in 2008, you know, 11 years ago, it really did seem like the world was ending. I mean, it, you know, think of it. The country of Iceland went bankrupt. A country, okay, literally became insolvent, okay? Uh, it was a, a giant thing. But uh, so, so the economic pie is relative. And regardless of how wealthy any of us become, it is a relative game. So all we have to do is be ahead of most others.